we will know what is folding why it is important and what are the main parameters of folding in this video you will know what is sheet metal folding what is the purpose of folding a sheet what are the sheet metal folding processes and what are the parameters of sheet metal folding and what are the terms that are used and quite common in sheet metal folding so let's start with the first question what is sheet metal folding so sheet metal folding is nothing but a stage in a sheet metal fabrication process and it is a very important stage where we use force or pressure to bend or deform a metal to get the desired shape. It is a second step out of a fourth step of sheet metal fabrication just after sheet metal cutting. Sheet metal folding involves bending a sheet metal to a desired shape in a way that you can utilize it for further fabrication process. So term folding can also be used as sheet metal bending or forming in sheet metal fabrication industry. Now let's go to the second question. Now let's understand how to fold a sheet metal. There are multiple methods to fold a sheet metal, but the main concept to fold a sheet metal is to apply a force to exceed the strength of the metal in a way that it goes into a plastic deformation and goes for a permanent deformation state. Now, if you know a straight strain diagram, the first stage is elastic deformation. That means if you apply a force, metal or any object tends to go back to the original position. But if you apply enough force, that will go into permanent deformation. That stage folding or sheet metal bending happens. But after that, there is a stage where the permanent deformation reaches to a point and it breaks. So between the point of starting the deformation and the point before it breaks, we need to make a balance of a force, which gives us a criteria for folding force. Now, this can be done by two methods. For example, if you have a very thin metal, you can just use your hands to deform the metal. When the thickness of the material increases or the material becomes stronger, you need to apply a certain force to deform the metal in a way or in a shape that you require. That is where the latest technologies like press break or metal banders comes into a place. A press break works by using a punch and die tool to apply enough force on a sheet metal in a way that it goes into a permanent deformation. Now, sheet metal can be bent several times, not only one times, many different times to get the desired shape. But the main concept will still stay the same, which is to apply the force to exceed the strength of the metal and make it into a plus permanent plastic deformation state. Now comes the third question. What is the purpose of using a press break or what is the purpose of folding a sheet metal? The purpose of folding a sheet metal is to create a permanent deformation with a bespoke product. That means you can create multiple different products with multiple different size and different shapes. Everything can be done using one press break. Using a press break, you are actually forming a shape that your end product is required, which is further processed by a joining process. But I'm not going to talk about the joining processes in this video. Now, let's go to question number four. What are the sheet metal folding processes? Now you know the exact science behind folding a sheet metal. It is very easy to understand what is different sheet metal folding processes that are currently used in manufacturing methods. If you think sheet metal folding is very simple, just get a 3D shape in SolidWorks, just get it cut and you can fold it. But no, it is not that easy. It requires a really complex knowledge and the phenomena of how the metal behaves under pressure. Also, sheet metal folding is a complex method. If you make a wrong fold or if you mess up the sequence of the press break, you will end up with a very big amount of scraps. Sheet metal folding is a really complex method and you need to know a lot more about the safety and operation, operating procedures of operating a press break. Because till this day, sheet metal operations have the most safety failures in press break operation. So let's understand question number five. What are the parameters of press break folding or what are the terms widely used in press break folding? Whenever you are doing a press break folding, ideally the top part which applies the force is called the punch and the bottom part which holds the, holds the sheet metal together is called the die. Now, die block is also known as the V block. 
this land that you are looking in this video is also is known as the flange land or outside to outside dimensions for bending on the outer surface of a sheet metal you apply a tension force which goes outside and on the inside surface of the press brake where the punch hits it goes through compression force but between these two layers there is a thin layer of a metal where there is no pressure of compression and there is no tension on that plane that plane is called a neutral axis the ratio between the inside edge to neutral axis and the thickness of the metal is known as a k factor which is a very important thing and it varies from metal to metal thickness to thickness and material to material based on the environment and atmosphere the metal is being processed this is very important to know because if you have got this k factor wrong you will get a wrong press brake folding every single time and you will spend a lot of time figuring out why you are not getting it right okay so the next is the inside radius so whenever you are folding a metal the inside of a sheet metal is called the inside radius we never get a perfect 90 degree with zero degree radius there is always a small radius which is used for forming the metal all the CAD software does some calculations to calculate the perfect folding line for folding your sheet metal that line is called the band line for example if you are folding 100 by 100 outside to outside you may not necessarily be 100 millimeter inside from the flange length so that needs to be calculated using the k factor that i have just told you thank you very much guys for watching i will see you in my next video please like share and subscribe keep watching